I did it. I did it. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another film of the week. Hope you guys have been enjoying uh, this little series and just the content in general as of late. Uh, I say I did it because if anyone knows the length of this movie, it is... It's, it, it's definitely a sit. Definitely a... Uh, in, definitely intimidating. Um, and... That film this week, something that I've had on my bucket list for a long, long time, but I just that didn't really have the courage to to uh, to watch it because of the the runtime that it possessed. But I finally sat down and I told myself I'm gonna watch this because not only is it historically significant, but it's just more just just you know one of the definitions of a classic. And that film being, of course. Gone with the Wind, which was uh, directed by Victor Fleming, uh, written by Sidney Howard, starring uh, Clark, Clark Gable and Vivian Lane, as well as Leslie Howard, um, <clears throat> which tells the story of uh, Scarlet, played by Vivian Lane, uh, who uh, lives in the in the South, uh, and you know the American Civil War, as well as the uh, Reconstruction era is taking shape, and uh, she's a confederate and she's uh you know she uh, runs a uh, she's a daughter of a you know plantation owner and things start to you know to take shape when she falls for a man named ashley and ashley it gets married to uh to one of his cousins named uh, melani uh melani named played by olivia uh de Havilland, Havilland. and um, and her desires for, you know, for his, his approval and for his love. And at the same time, a guy named Rhett Butler played by Clark Gable, who is showing her all the attention and showing her all the love and all that sort of stuff. And she, and her rejections of that sort of thing. Well, simultaneously her, uh, her, uh, her, fa- her uh, fascinations in some regards to play along and for this to take shape in the background ultimately what you get from gone with the wind thematically speaking as i pull out my notes here is something that i wasn't quite expecting which is a a heavy emphasis on selfishness and selflessness more or less selfishness though and how it's formed from a false sense of connection and that growing ignorance that is built over time, and that stubbornness, and that naiveness, and that, um, and that disregard for others, um, and that 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 desire to sustain a genuine connection with someone, even if that connection is 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 lacking that of genuine qualities or that of just genuine um, ideas. Um, you know, to act selflessly, you know, being blinded within selfishness, you know, and it's ultimately a tragedy, you know, the, 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 the film, you know, takes place around Vivian Lane's character, who is that of a youthful figure. Um, and she's her, 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 uh, that her blindness and her ignorance is what ultimately shapes her throughout the film and ultimately forms the person that she be that she is at the end of the film, which is that of a very tragic and very, in many respects, a very unlikable uh, protagonist, because a lot of the actions that take place throughout the film, it becomes a little bit harder to sympathize with her because of what she does and, you know, her, her, um, her commitment to this narcissistic and, you know, ego driven like figure, um, or not ego driven, but you know, like very like just you know, just, just all about her own, um, her own feelings and her own desires. And, you know, she's always seeking approval and seeking for comfort. And it does become harder to sympathize with her as a character. And, um, there is the, the obvious elephant in the room, you know, there is a, you know, a showcase of the time of which the movie was, was released, which was that of 1939. So there is, an emphasis on things that by today's standards would be, you know, or just by just general common sense, you know, would be seen as just a flat out racist and, um, and, 
you know, very, uh, you know, like the way that the, the focus is on, which is that of the, of the, uh, you know, Confederates, the movie takes a great deal to show a sympathetic lens through it. And you can potentially view that as maybe some form of propaganda, but because it's like wanting to maintain these like racist like traditions and show that African Americans were completely fine with these, with these uh, treatments and all this sort of stuff, even though realistically that is not the case, you know. So, um, but other than those like two knocks that I have to the film, that being you know the protagonist being something of a hard character to to like, and the of the um, the you know the the blatant you know racism that is. Uh, you know, just within the whole film, um, there's there's so much to to love about this. I mean, for starters, the scenery is just gorgeous. It is a beautiful looking film, like absolutely beautiful. Um, the performances all around, you know, from Clark Gable, Vivian Lane, to Leslie Howard, uh, who, by the way, was the first African American to actually win an Academy Award. So. Or actually, no, that was a uh, Haiti McDaniel. My, I, my, my apologies, I, I got that wrong. Uh, yeah, it was Haiti McDowell, Haiti, Haiti McDaniel. Uh, she was the first African American to win an Academy Award. She was just tremendous. I thought she was great, as well as everybody else: Clark Gable, Vivian Lane, Les, uh, Olivia De Havilland. Um, like all of them were great. You know, even Leslie Howard, who I just realized played. Uh, <laughs> played uh, Ashley um so, sorry it's like the name Ashley I always re- associate that as a, f- a female like name so I just got that conf- I always got confused throughout the movie I was like who's Ashley again it's like yeah that's a male uh, guy's the guy's name um but uh but yeah and also sorry my mind might be a little bit mushy just because of the length that is the movie which I have to say was not an issue it was consistently investing and continuously involving because of the commitment to its its pacing and just the just the nonstop delivery of its of its melodrama, you know, it's not you know taking deep you know deep breaths and all that sort of stuff, you know, or um, you know, it's like you know just you know just like and just holding it like this and holding it like this and holding it like this and then eventually it will come out, you know, like those little little breathing room that's just consistently just keeps moving and moving and moving and with that your interest is 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 maintained so um i think the score is also beautiful throughout um you know like you know there's a lot of great qualities to the film and <clears throat> very quotable i love the lines you know personally i don't give a damn you know like that's just one of the most iconic lines um it's a really you know it's a really um well-constructed piece you know and i think that the the performances are just something you know i i'm just really really happy with it and really surprised by the depths of it i was expecting it just to be a a very uh stretched out romance and it's not really a romance that's i think people labeling it as a romance are looking at it fairly ignorantly as is the protagonist you know you know they're looking at it through the lens of the protagonist you know and then not that of what reality it is, it reality is, you know, it's a movie really about, you know, tragedy, really about, you know, uh, the loss of humanity. It's about someone's losing of their, of their, of their reality and just falling into their own, their own selfishness and what happens when they fall to that, to that, to that, when they, when they fall to that, to that side of themselves, like it's, it's very, very, um, it's very interesting in that regard. And just the performances are just really, really good. And in terms of a, in terms of just overall production, it is just marvelous. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, it is definitely a film that you need to see just for the significance of it. Um, and, you know, just as a film fan, it's like, you know, or just a film guy in general, it's like one of those like must, you know, so, um, but 
yeah, I really enjoyed it. I found myself just really involved with it. Um, and I never felt tired. You know, that's the thing. You know, I mean, I'm a little mushy just because it's like I'm not used to sitting within such a long period of time of watching something. But um, but I found myself just enjoying of its company almost entirely. I mean, yeah, sure, the protagonist gets harder to like. And I think that that might be the point, um, even though, you know, again, the sympathy element, the, you know, my attachments to it did become thinner. Um, and, of course, the, like I've like I said before, the the blatant racism that is, that is within it, you know, the glorification of slavery and, you know, the, just the, the presentation of slavery, like the ignorance of like showing that people were, that, that the, Af- the African-Americans were cool with this. Like it's, you know, it's like, it's, it can get a bit, uh, you know, it, those parts are kind of hard to stomach just because it reminds you of like, oh yeah, this is like their, this is how they, the movie, this is the movie's mindset, you know, to a certain measure. It's like, it can break you out of it, but, um, but thankfully, the whole thing is there is something. The whole thing is sustained by its performances, its visual qualities, the writing, the uh, the the structure, the the pacing. There are so many elements to it that really won me over, and I was really just. I was really really entranced by it. I was really really impressed, you know, and. I found myself just really enjoying of it, you know, and I can honestly sit for another, like, like another hour, like, and not saying something about a movie that's like over three hours long. So, um, so really, really enjoyed myself with it. I found it to be very strong and very, just, just very involving and very surprising. I was not, I was not expecting the, the thematic quality of it. I really thought it was just going to be about love. It goes much deeper than that. It's about how one twists it and how one is not looking for a connection in the selfless manner. It's only driven by what they want and their own desires and for their own comfort. And how in turn that is a selfish, you know, uh, a selfish, you know, uh, 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 a selfish way of looking and ultimately you your your fate is to be alone and not with an a individual so so yeah so so yeah that's my thoughts with gone with the wind i'm i'm proud of myself just because i i didn't know if i would be able to to sit through it you know but i did and i am very happy with what i saw so um, so let me know your thoughts on Gone with the Wind if you guys have seen it in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And after this video, guys, we will be starting our uh, our What Have I Seen Lately series. So I hope you guys will be enjoying those videos. And yeah, so that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to go relax my head now because that was a long, long sit. And until then, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video.